Kaali is the fragrance that was launched by Mona and Huda Katan from uh, Huda Beauty. So it's kind of in that Huda Beauty umbrella, but it's a separate entity. Uh, I have to tell you, I've been wanting to do this particular first impressions for a while. I had these delivered last Saturday and uh, I have to say, being honest, I've sprayed them a couple of times just in attempts to make this video, but I haven't worn them. So on that note, let's get started. I ordered these from Sephora. I got the four miniature set in this beautiful box. This packaging is absolutely stunning, white gold. Inside the box, you have your four 10 ml bottles, which are three, uh, point, oh, sorry, 0.34 fluid ounces in America. Also, the great thing about this packaging is it actually has the signature fragrance notes written for each of the four bottles. I have got the website up in front of me and I'm going to read you some of this information about each of the products before we get into it. So I want to start with Citrus 08. 08 refers to the number of times that this particular juice was reinvented before they ended up on the final one that is in this bottle. Isn't this gorgeous? This packaging is absolutely stunning. It's glass. It's just it's luxe. It's... Very, very well done. So Citrus 08 is uh, sparkling citrus notes of Italian bergamot and pink grapefruit mingled with rhubarb, black currant, and pink pepper. It has floral cords of rose centifolia and rose de Messina um, from Bulgaria. And it has a veil of musk, tonka, and oak moss. So lots of complex things in this, actually. Pretty excited for it. I love a good citrus, but I like some diversity in my citrus. I like it to smell a little bit more than citrus. Did you see how well that missed it? <laughs> stunning, stunning, stunning. Very sparkling pig grapefruit, that peppercorn uh, bergamot straight off the bat, just sparkling and alive and fresh, lovely. I do get a you can get that sweet, slight floral note to it. It's definitely a floral citrus. Spray it again. Oh man, it's good. It makes me want to eat it. It's juicy. It's juicy, juicy. It's a very good way to describe this one. I'm excited to try it. I think this is the kind of product that would be very good for spring, summer, but also lay it onto fragrances that are a little bit, um, a little heavy and you just want to freshen up the top notes. So that is Citrus 08. Let's jump to musk. Where's musk? Musk 12. 12 attempts to get this musk correct. Beautiful bottle again. Pretty light juice. So it's a floral musk. And what do we have? We have lotus flower, freesia, and sheer jasmine laced with exquisite musk. And vanilla and creamy sandalwood. It actually sounds like something I will like. I'm not really musky in my um, preference of fragrance, but I think it sounds very beautiful. Yeah, it's musky. You can't escape the musk. It is a little floral. It's warm, a little sweet. I definitely get that a vanilla in there and some of those florals. With the musk, I think it's pretty. I think it's feminine. It's the kind of musk that I think you could wear and feel elegant and pretty in versus feeling too kind of overtly sensual. It's pretty. Good job. Good job. Okay, let's jump to one of the heavier fragrances, Elixir 11. I'm so sorry. I am. Okay, I'm here. Elixir 11. This is probably the most heady of the fragrances from what I have read. I'm not going to spray it first. I'm going to tell you what it is. So notes of red apple and rose petal essence. And then we have a rose centifolia, jasmine, sunbark. So quite floral. And then we have woody notes of patchouli, amber, and vanilla. It's described as a sweet floral fragrance. Yeah, you definitely get that apple and that rose. 
I get the patchouli. I think it's a mature scent. It's mysterious. It's exotic. It's definitely... I would say it's for the fragrance lover. If you are the kind of person that likes to wear a unique fragrance or smell like you're wearing fragrance, it has some very vintage notes in it to me, but I think that that apple really brightens it and lifts it, which is really nice and unique. So it does create that kind of sweet fruitiness, which I think will appeal to a younger audience versus that mature vintage fragrance lover so something for everybody in there and this too i think would layer very well with some of these other scents obviously in the creation of this particular line it uh, was designed to be layered whether it's with one another or with your own fragrances Kayali uh, was a brand that mona was very passionate about coming out with this concept of layering the fragrances so yeah last one this one is my most exciting, most exciting for me anyway. It's Vanilla 28. 28 attempts to make this. It better be damn good. This one here, look at the juice, that color. So pretty. Okay, Vanilla 28. Creamy jasmine and rich vanilla orchid. So a couple of floral notes in there. Then we have Brazilian tonka, amber musk patchouli and brown sugar. It's an oriental gourmand, which actually is probably one of my favorite scent types, oriental gourmands. So, let's go. Mm. Oh, hold on. <coughs> okay. That was a little too close to my nostrils. But, damn, that is beautiful. It's sensual it's grown up it's refined it's elegant it's sweet it's brown sugary it's vanillary but it is in a way that is so sensual and so delicious and so not a kid's vanilla this is probably my favorite vanilla ever and i have been searching for one that really fits my vibe as an adult in my 40s that I can wear that doesn't make me feel like I'm 12. So guys, I think I think I found it. This is absolutely beautiful and I think this would pair very very well with a bunch of these scents. Oh my goodness. That that makes me very happy. Okay, guys. So thank you so much to everybody for again watching this video. If you have questions, comments, anything that you would like to see, please let me know down below. I was not sponsored to do this video. I'm not affiliated with anybody. I just happen to buy fragrance and enjoy fragrance and tell you about fragrance. So if that's something you're interested in, please remember to like and subscribe. It will help me to make sure that I'm making the kind of content that you want to see. Take care, guys, and I'll talk to you next time.